Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Jolindo, and today we're playing some more of Planet Base. And we already posted a gameplay of this. I've also posted a tutorial, so if you're here for how to play Planet Base and you've already played through the tutorial, then uh, check out the uh, the, uh, the intermediate and advanced tutorial video I posted. That'll help you get a little further in the game and give you a nice ideal start. We're going to jump straight into a planet here and get everything started loading. But basically, Planet Base is a... Um, alien world based survival simulator game where you take colonists and those colonists do specific jobs to kind of keep the colony alive like producing food or um, doing medical work or you know producing metals and things like that it's kind of like banished in space so here's our colony ship there we're gonna have some colonists walk out we're gonna get three workers two biologists one medic and one engineer as well as a loader bot and a constructor bot I don't like how close this mountain up here is to my base. That's going to not be good. So let's take a look around. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm going to spin the spin the camera here because we're going to build this direction. And I'm just used to this orientation. Um, so right about there. That should look pretty good. We're going to put a oxygen generator. Get that started. We're going to put a solar panel. Gonna go ahead and throw on a power collector wherever it'll fit. And then a water collector, water extractor rather. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I like the start. So we're gonna toss on a processing plant onto the side of the oxygen generator. So the oxygen generator is going to give our, our people breathable air. Then a processing plant is going to let them process materials they collect. And then this is a, isn't going to be a perfect fit, which is going to bug me a bit. But, um, yeah, this will just be our mine and landing pad entrance anyway after a while. So we'll do that. So here's the processing plant. And we're going to wait for our people to get their, you know, their stuff situated, get all their materials in the right place. And then we're going to add to the space. Okay, they're idle, so now we can throw on the storage, regular sized. I'm going to move it over just a little bit, kind of close to that mountain. And we're going to throw in a biodome. Kind of the largest size biodome. Might as well snuggle it into the mountain here as well. Make sure that's as close as possible. I don't want to waste any room. That's a little closer. That's a better spot. I thought that, yeah, that 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 connection looked a little long, and I was like, eh, that doesn't look exactly right. Let's take off the 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 enclosure so we can actually see inside here. Yeah, we probably want to throw in another windmill down here. Make sure we have enough power to get through that first night. Nice. And then we're going to throw in a canteen right connected to the oxygen generator. And we'll throw in a dorm connected to the oxygen generator but not connected to each other because that's kind of an important thing. They, those two buildings use a ton of oxygen and we don't want them connected because then they'll both be using oxygen from each other's rooms rather than from the oxygen generator and it, it just ends up turning out badly. turn off that storage as soon as it gets connected because I don't want anybody really storing any materials just yet. It's kind of a waste of time in, in the current way we've got everything going. Now it's kind of a, we're kind of stable now so I'm going to fast forward. Wait for some of those things to get built. Okay, there's the dorm. And being connected directly to the auction generator means that's going to fill with auction as quickly as possible. Which is very, actually extremely helpful this early in the game. 
and there's going to be our canteen. As soon as that goes up and the tube gets connected, we'll throw in some tables and water fountains and everything so that people can have something to eat and drink. Okay, here we'll throw in a table, some water fountain, a um, mill maker, and a TV screen. We should have enough power to get through night, I think. Now everything's pretty much where it needs to be. For the most part, they're getting stuff situated on the inside. I'm going to throw a mine out here. I want them to start mining pretty early in the game. I'll throw a metal processor down just to make sure we don't run out of metal before we actually get a metal processor unit. Kind of a pain that the thing that makes metal actually takes metal. <laughs> so if you run out of metal, you're kind of in trouble. If you haven't built one of those yet. Guess we will queue up our landing pad as well. Right about there looks good. Fast forwarding a little bit, let them get everything moved a bit. Someone build that water fountain, please. Gotta wait for that constructor bot to come around and actually do some work. There we go. Now people can actually drink water. Excellent. Kind of an important thing. Um, let's get these queued up. We're going to put in our biodome. We're going to put in some potato plants. Some wheat. Some wheel wheaten plants. And some onions. And some radishes. Go ahead and raise the priority of this. We want to make sure we're generating as much ore as we can. The mine will generate ore. It'll get taken into this metal processor and process. Uh, we have a landing pad, so let's go ahead and change everything over to 100% workers. We just want tons of workers coming in, manning this mine, getting the metal processing started, all that stuff. Yeah, we really could use some wind here. Come on. Wind energy for the wind. <laughs> wind energy for the wind. Okay, now the biologists have something to do. They'll start processing, working with those plants. We got some idle people. We want to make sure they work, uh, work as much as they can. So, how about... Let's get a, well, hmm. I want to get another wind turbine, but I don't think we're, I think we're a little ahead on our resources. We, we need more metal for anything like that. Ah, trader. I got to turn off the traders. Let me turn that off. Don't want any traders coming in right now. Okay, let's turn on the storage. At least some of these idle guys can start moving stuff into storage. That'll help. So biologists are at work. The miners are at work. Medic and engineer are basically, you know, free hands for moving this stuff and building anything to build them in a few minutes here.
water tank probably need a water tank soon we probably also need another power generator Let's see how high the uh, the battery gets if the battery fills up then we can get another battery if it doesn't fill up like it doesn't look like it's gonna fill up here we can get another wind turbine or another solar power plant probably probably wind turbine okay who do we get we just had a colony ship drop by gave us two workers not bad that's a nice average colony ship We're already processing some metal that's helpful speed up a little bit everything's looking good bit of a waiting game right now because uh, the everything's kind of stable we're just waiting for the biologists to get caught up on the plants waiting for the workers to generate some materials there's another colony ship two workers perfect I feel like we could use some more biologists now, so I'll switch over, start inviting some biologists in so we have enough to work, have enough people to work these plants. They're doing really good so far. I mean, look at that. Already got 10 vegetables. Got some starch. Excellent. Let's try to get a wind turbine. Get that built. And next thing we want is probably more of these metal processors. At least one more. Want to make sure those are worked. So we get as much metal coming in as possible. The workers are hard at work. Hey. Got some more biologists. Three. I only got one more biologist. I hate those colony ships. I only have one. You get one, two, or three from those small colony ships. And two is fairly common, but you sometimes you get one. Very rarely will you get three. Three is awesome. We need one more metal. So our plants aren't getting worked back here, but that'll work itself out when we get a couple more, a couple more biologists. Looks like our battery did manage to max itself out during the daytime there. There's another colony ship. Another one more biologist. I hate that. Slow. Want more biologists. Puts a strain on your early resources when you don't get more. All right, let's build a bioplastic maker and probably another metal processor. Now we have more outdoor buildings. Yeah, basically a lot of your buildings are outdoor buildings, so you end up needing metal a little more than bioplastic, although all your interior furniture is based on bioplastic, so it kind of balances out. But on the outside, you have stuff for power and water and making your base run. On the inside, you have furniture that increases morale or lets them sit down while eating or something like that. 
it's it just it doesn't seem quite as valuable they're all they're all important i mean you have to have a bed to sleep but if you don't have power everything stops so you know gotta have gotta make sure you always have ample supplies of metal hey colony ship nice two excellent two biologists we now have six i want to get at least two more and I'm going to start adding to those plants because they're going to be able to handle it now. Uh, let's throw in a water tank out here. Large size water tank. Kind of extend the uh, amount our water extractor can handle. Everything's looking good. Oh, water tank got built. Connection's getting built. Perfect. Now check this out. When this this is going to generate more water, I'm going to be able to get uh, more water in this tank. See, it's filling up already. Yay! And what this means is that since this water extractor fluctuates and how much it outputs, whenever it fluctuates down and it's not outputting enough, it, it will take from this water tank, and whenever it's uh, creating too much, it'll add to the water tank. Just like the power battery. Sometimes people neglect building water tanks because they don't see the point, but it's basically the water equivalent of a power collector. It's really nice. We just got another biologist show up. Now it's 7 and 7. Let's, um... Let's go about... Let's go ahead and balance these out a little bit. I want to have about 40% worker... Sorry, 40% biologist, 50% worker, 5% engineer, 5% medic. Let's go with that. The reason why I... One of the reasons... The main reason... I guess the only reason I focus on these guys is that... Workers generate your raw materials for building anything. Biologists generate your raw materials for feeding your populace. And also the raw materials for building interior buildings. Um, so those two are your kind of your resource generators. Engineer doesn't generate resources. They build stuff. Medic doesn't generate re resources other than, you know, making medical supplies. They really just take care of people. Guard just protect you. So really, you need a lot of workers and biologists early on. That's your primary bottleneck, in my opinion. Okay, so we have a worker who's injured. Now is definitely the time to build out a sick bay so he can get treated properly. So, we can put that... Hmm... We can put that anywhere, really. It's nice and small. We can probably stick it in between the canteen and the storage. And then they're right next to the... They're right next to the storage, so they'll be able to get the medical supplies out of there. Can't connect these two. Because they're just... Because of this thing now. But this will work fine. Okay, so we're going to want to get that, that medical bay, that sick bay up so that he can get treated and he can get back to work. Don't like don't like workers that don't work. It's a, kind of a bad thing. Looks like we just got an extra worker. I'll replace the injured worker for a while. I feel like I want to build a airlock out on this side so that people can walk out from two different angles. Might be a good thing. Oh no, our worker, our constructor bot broke down right as he's working on the sick bay. What bad timing. Get that engineer out there. That's right, fix him up. Fix up your buddy here, guy. Come on. Oh no, now you're thirsty. That's... That's horrible timing. Well, okay, he's working on him now. Perfect. We'll throw in a bed so that somebody who's injured can get treated. Right about there. A lot of a lot of steel getting produced. That's really good to good to see. Looks like we got enough people for both the mine and all the processors, so 
Uh, let's kind of fill in the urge to build another mine now. Oh, got another injured injured worker. Got to get those guys treated. Got an extra worker and an extra biologist. Let's uh, let's throw in since these are probably all excellent now. Let's throw in some more plants. Make sure everybody stays well fed. We don't need any medicinal medicinal stuff yet. But I guess we could could get a, could get a head start on that. Just start producing a couple. And we're going to want another water extractor because that's going to start, that's going to well strip out our first water extractor. So let's go ahead and build the second water extractor. Come on, medic, get here. Guy's injured. He needs, he needs treatment. Come on. Oh, are you sleeping? Medic sleeping. Is that you? That's you on the bottom bunk. Yep. As soon as he gets up, he'll be able to treat this guy and he'll get back to work. Okay, what do we want to do next? Got a good amount of power for the most part. We need another power battery. That would be nice to have. Another power collector. There we go. The medic is the last one getting out of bed. Great. Come on. There he goes. Okay, now he's going to head over to the worker and take care of that broken bone. Blink. He's going to be all better. All right, we're going to start getting sandstorms, which we don't really need to worry about. We're at about soon. And then we, after that, we're going to get a solar flare. I'm going to go ahead and build the control center. Because it's good to have those ready to go. I mean, you don't want to wait too long and then, get, and then get stuck with a solar flare. It's really bad news when that happens. Um, so, hmm. Kind of feeling the urge to build it over here. Don't know why. Yeah, why not? Ah, let's get rid of that. Change my mind. Control center. Kind of over to the side here. So hard to get the right spot that I like. New batteries filling in now. That's perfect. Oh, we're at 20, so we need another oxygen generator. Or that's going to start becoming a problem. Let's put it up, up here, connected to this canteen. And we'll have like li try to have like living areas and canteen over here. Another, another pair of those. And then uh, work areas over on the right here. See, hey, hey, right on time. Right on time, we ran out of oxygen. So let's get somebody up there to take care of that. take away these because I don't want I don't want the control center distracting from the auction generation that we need more right now sandstorms are not really all that dangerous they're just kind of annoying they do break down your your bots a little faster but really, they just slow down your hauling and things like that. Kind of a pain that's happening right now because uh, we actually do need to get oxygen before we run out. But it's not too bad right now. We're at 23. That's pretty, 
We got three. We got three extra. Right when we're on the uh, right when we're right on the auction limit, we're on. We get three extra colonists that are soaking up all that extra auction. That's a pain. Everything powers looking good. Battery. Uh, the the water tanks looking great. Got another auction generator. We're looking great now. Let's throw in that uh, control center now. Looks like our mine is pretty much fully staffed most of the time. So we're going to toss in another mine out here. Make sure they, the workers always, always have something to work on. Probably put some more mines over here when we build an airlock on this side. There's another biologist. Feeling like we need another meal maker. Because we're getting a lot of people wanting to eat food right now. Maybe another water fountain to make sure that they can get the water they need and another table. Can I not build a table there? What's wrong? Let's slow down a little bit here. Table should go there. Right? But then I can't build a water fountain over there. Oh well. Hmm. Throw one over there anyway. Oh, I know. I know what it was. Haha, <laughs> I didn't think straight. Water fountain goes over here. Table goes over here. There we are. Second mine has been built. We can raise that as well. And now our we we need another processing plant, I think. And this one is not doing enough. So I'm gonna end up expanding right over here. Putting a processing center right. Should we make a large one? Kinda feel bad putting this sick bay here now. Because it's got it's kind of in the way from where I want to put a processing plant. Hmm. Yeah, let's, re let's recycle this one. Okay, and... Can we put a processor in here? Pretty much. I mean, it's not an ideal fit, but it works. And we'll put a sick bay... Kind of like put these a little bit out of the way. Interesting. How about right there? I guess we'll just build around it. Still haven't got that control center built. <laughs> Colonist ship showing up. Another miner. Food's looking good. Materials are looking good. Everything's really moving in the right direction. I like this. It's a good start. Haven't had any problems. It's nice. Um, I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna call this a good start. Um, this is gonna be episode one. Thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, I will. We need to get. Oh, we need to get a sick bay to get this guy treated. In the next episode, I'll be uh, just continuing on through this level and seeing how well we can do. We probably need some more beds down here for instance so let's throw one in here uh so feel free to click that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this uh in the next episode like i said continuing on, on into the next phase we're going to try to get uh more medics and more engineers and things like that and then start building bots at some point 
Um, that'll be really cool. So thanks again, and remember, keep it clean.